Why is it so dark down the bottom? It's so dark. Hi Maria. Thanks for joining us. Hi Karen, it's nice to see you here. Okay, just a couple more minutes and then we'll start. So if you haven't already got your stuff, um, you will need a ruler and a pencil and a craft knife and craft mat. Sorry, my sorry my um there we go my light is glaring off the acetate <laughs> Okay, thanks for joining me everybody. It's Paula from Craftables and this is our card for this week. So it is a, um, it does have an acetate window on the front which you can pop out this little tag. And I have got this little thing that says turn me over here in case you want to put a photo or a gift card or some money or something in there. But if you don't want to do anything to the tag here, that's fine. You just don't put that on there. So that slips into the window there. And then we slide this whole thing up and this folds out, slide it down and that folds out. And then we can pop that in the middle. So this is where you can do your writing or you can do a, st a sentiment stamp and some writing there. Or you could even do your writing on there if you wanted to. So that is our card. Now I have to warn you there is quite a bit of measuring and cutting out to do today. So I will try and go slow just so everyone can keep up with me if you're doing it with me today. So, in your kit, you will have three sheets of the A5, A, sorry, four sheets of the A5, A4 black cardstock. We will probably use most of that today. So, that's what we're going to grab to start with, and you'll need your trimmer. And we're going to cut one of these pieces to 7 by 10 inches. Hi, Kylie, it's wonderful to see you. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to cut this one down to 7 by 10 so I'm going to bring my short side of my cardstock. So I'm just going to zoom out a wee bit here. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to bring my short side to the top of the trimmer and I'm going to measure it at 7 inches first and cut down there. And then I'm going to turn this around and cut it at 10 inches. So this is going to be your card base and I'm just going to score that in the center. So with the long side at the top of your trimmer, you're going to score it at 5 inches. 
and we're going to fold that in half. So this is your card base, so it does actually open up as a card as well, so you can do all sorts of bits and pieces in there as well. So this is your card base, I'll put that aside just for now, and we're going to cut another piece of black cardstock to measure three and three quarters by eight. So grab another one, and we're going to put the short side at the top of the trimmer again, and we're going to do that at three and three quarters. And turn it round to 8 inches and cut at 8 inches as well. So this piece is going to be this little bit in the centre here. So we've got a nice long black strip in the middle there. Hey Lorraine, lovely to see you. Now, so once you've got this one cut out, so the 3 and 3 quarters by 8, if you have one of these trimmers, I'll just get you to flip over the board so that we can do our scoring now. So your your lip is on, to, on the very left hand side of your trimmer so we push it right up against there. Push it right up there and we're going to score it at half an inch and seven and a half. Here we go. So we have a three and three quarters by eight inch piece and we've scored it at half an inch on this side and uh, seven and a, yep, seven and a half on this side. And we're just going to fold on those score lines there. I know black is a little bit hard to see, so I'm very sorry about that. So I'm just going to burnish those down so we've got a nice crisp fold. Now this piece here, we're going to put a little bit of tape on just those two tabs there. So we've got a tab at the top, and we've got a tab at the bottom, and I'm just going to put a strip of tape there. Now if you have the red tape, um, that red extra sticky tape, go ahead and use that stuff um, because this is what is going to be used as our slider so it's going to slide up and down on this piece. So if you do have red tape go ahead and use it, if you prefer to do the glue um, because it's a wee bit stronger then you can do that as well. So this is the express it tape I've got which is the extra sticky stuff. So I'm just going to put one on that flap there and one on that bit there. Alright, so before we put this piece down, I'm going to put a piece of pattern paper on the front here. So, grab your pattern paper, so your pretty pink one, it's gorgeous paper. So that's one side, and that's the other side. I want you to cut this little flower out just down here, so I think I've got that upside down. So it's in your top right hand corner, so just roughly cut that out for now, um, just so we know how much paper we've got left over to use. So I'm just going to really roughly cut that out. So pop that aside and we'll cut that one out properly a bit later. So whatever's left on here now is what we're going to use to decorate our card with. So I just want to pop mine on there and I'm just going to make it a boy bit smaller so I've got a bit of a black border around there. So if we want a measurement, I think it was 4 and 7 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths. So flip that back over so I can start cutting. So I'm going to do 6 and 7 eighths first just because I want to use this piece here. So I'm just going to cut that there and then I'm going to do 4 and 7 eighths. So it's just one mark past underneath your five. So the four and seven eighths, you've got your five inch mark there. And it's just one dot underneath your five. I know the one and the eighth of an inch are a little bit tricky sometimes, but um there we go. Okay, so this piece here is going to go onto the front of our card. So we're just going to pop it on there like that. Now I've used this side here um, as my backing paper there, but if you want to, you're most welcome to use the other side of the paper. That's totally up to you. So I'm just going to put a bit of tape around the back and that's going to be my front on there. Alright, so I'm just going to grab my tape and put some rest 
some more tape around the rest of that there so right around all four sides there we go and that's going to go on the front of your main card piece So just pop that on there, just so you've got a bit of a border around the outside. There we go. Right, so that's your card base. Now this piece that we just did before with our tape on, I'm just going to get you to take the tape off the back there. So the tape is actually on the flap on the outside. So there's the inside of the flap, there's the outside. So your tape should be on the outside. Sorry about that everybody. Okay, so this piece here with the flap still folded down like that, we're going to pop that right in the middle of the front of our card. Just like that. So it will fit from the very, very top of your black piece on your card to the very bottom there. So that we end up with it looking like that. Okay. So the next step we want to do now is we want to put some little opening flaps on the front. So what we're doing now are these little opening pieces here so we've got one at the top that we want to do and we've got one down the bottom here that we want to do as well so if you could cut out two pieces of black cardstock to measure three and three quarters by four so just grab whatever's left over of your black cardstock so three and three quarters by four Turn around and do four. And then I'm going to slide it across my trimmer to four again and do another one. Okay, so we've got these two pieces here. Now I want you to place the top the four inch side, so the long inch, the long side there at the very top of your trimmer, and I want you to score it at half an inch. So I don't know how well you can see that. So we've got our four inch side at the top of our trimmer and we're going to measure in half an inch and score down there so we're going to do that to the other piece as well so four inch one at the top along here and the half inch is where we're going to do our scoring so we now have two little pieces with a flap on them so we're just going to fold those flaps back and put some tape on the outside piece again not on this inside piece on that outside bit. Okay. So I'm just going to place some tape along here. And another piece on this one as well. So that there, I'm just going to move my trimmer out of the way for just a moment. So there's our card base there. Now these two pieces are going to be the opening ones. So this one here with the flap at the top, we're going to fold that down, take the backing off, and then we're just going to pop that right at the very top of our black piece here. So when we open it, you can see that tag, sorry, that tab there. Okay, so now we're going to do the same with this one, but this edge here, our folded edge, is going to go down the bottom so that they are opening opposite each other. So this one goes right down the bottom. Great. So hopefully they should match up quite nicely in the middle there. If they're overlapping just a little bit, then just trim one of them down just a smidgen, just a just a hair there so we just want them to match up see mine mine don't match up perfect perfectly but I'm actually okay with that because it doesn't matter if they're not matching up 100% so now we have this piece that's opening and closing there so we now want to grab a white piece of card and we're going to put a white piece in the middle here so you could go ahead and put your white cut down a white piece of paper there or cardstock and we're going to put that in the middle 
So the white cardstock measures 3 and 5 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths. Sorry, I need my trimmer back. So we're going to do 6 and 7 eighths. So the 7 eighths is just one mark underneath your 7. So find your 7 on your board and then just come down one mark. So 6 and 7 eighths. And we're going to flip that around to 3 and 5 eighths. So that is one mark under 3 and 3 quarters. Okay, so 3 and 5 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths. So that's going to go right in the center there. Okay, so that piece there just goes right in the center there. There we go. Hey Debbie, lovely to see you. Um, no, I haven't got my new trimmer blades, but I have a lovely lady in one of my coffee groups that um, has let me have some of hers until mine come in. So I do appreciate Angela from our Saturday group there. That was a lovely thing for you to do. <laughs> Um, we, we did order them and they were in stock when we ordered them but then we just got a message the other day saying that they were out of stock so we now have to wait until they get them back in stock so I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do, what we're going to do now is we're going to put some pattern paper on both of these flaps now so on the front and on the inside here so whatever leftover pattern paper you've got we're just going to cut to pop onto the front of our card there. I'm just going to trim my border off here just so it's not in my way. Okay, so if these measure, let me see. Actually, I'll do it on my trimmer, it might be easier. So if these measure three and three quarters, you want to you want a pattern paper to measure three and five eighths by oops. Three and three eighths. So three and five eighths by three and three eighths. And three. I don't know what, what did I say again. Sorry about that. Yep. So th three and five eighths there. Yep. And then this side was three and five eighths. So we need two pieces measuring three and five eighths. Yep, just perfect. So these two are going to go onto my front flaps here. So I'm going to have one at the top there. I'm sorry, that way around. One at the top there and then one at the bottom there. No, I've cut those wrong. Sorry guys, let me just check those measurements again. Okay, so three and five eighths by three and three eighths. That's better. That's better. So pop that on onto the front of your cardstock there. So I'm using the pink side for the front, and then I'll use the uh, this wooden flowery board one for the inside. Okay, so I just want to make sure that these are going to line up all right when I've got them on there. So I'll pop that one on that way. 
and then I did measure this one wrong so I'll give you that measurement again just for this bottom one so where's my pencil mark oh there it is so it's three and five eighths by three and three eighths there we go that's better so that one's going to go on there like that beautiful so we're just going to pop that one down is my tape gone there it is Okay, so that one's going to go down the bottom there, like that. Awesome, so we now have those two front flaps on there. So we now want to do this side here and this side here. Now I have used the other side for the inside there, so I've cut these this side down. So I'm just going to do that now. And then we're going to pop those on the inside of those two flaps there. So we need two pieces measuring, three and five eighths by three and three eighths. Okay, so three and five eighths by three and three eighths. And these ones are just going to go on the inside of there like that. So I'm just going to go and use my tape and I'm going to pop those on the, on the inside there. There we go, so that one's going to go on the inside at the top. So that one's at the top there with a little bit of a black border around the outside. And then this one's going to go just down the bottom on here. Um, the tape I'm using is the Express It um, double sided tape and you get about 50 meters on a roll for about $7. Um, it is good because you can easily tear this stuff and it comes with just the regular um, stickiness or you can have the extra stickiness. Um, this, is, this is the only double sided tape I use. I've been using it for years and years and I've never had a piece come off yet. And it's very easy to use. Okay, so we've got the outside one done and the insides there. Fantastic, well done guys. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we want to make this little slider piece here so this little bit that slides up and down is what we're doing next so grab some more of your black cardstock and you're going to want to um, cut a piece sorry I'm just trying to find my instruction okay so we want to cut a piece that's three inches by five and a quarter so all the way over to the three inches So there's our three there. I'm going to flip it around to measure, measure five and a quarter. So five and a quarter there. So once we've got this cut out, we want the long side at the top of our trimmer again, and we're going to score it. So there's a little bit of scoring to do, so I'm just going to flip my board over. And I'm just going to score it at half an inch first. So half an inch score. And then we're going to come up one of those little notches so five eighths of an inch so we've done the half half an inch 
the next little notch up from half an inch is five and five uh, sorry five eighths of an inch so we want to score there as well your next score line is four and five eighths so go to four and a half and go to the next notch up which is four and five eighths and do a score line there and then your next score line is four and three quarters so you will end up with two little tiny score lines on either side there. And the reason we've done that is so that when we're pulling this up and down, we actually have a little spine there and it's not going to catch as much if we, if, like if it was flat. So we've just got that little spine just to lift it up a bit so it doesn't catch as we slide up and down. So I just want you to score on those, fold on those score lines. So I keep forgetting to move my trimmer so I'm just going to move that out of the way again. So we're going to score on those score lines and it can be a bit hard to just get that second score line there but just have a fiddle with it and get that second score line and give that a score out, a score down to a burnish down as well. So as you can see we've got a very little spine there and that's going to help us to slide it up and down. So do the same on this side. So score on one of those fold lines and we're going to fold on that second one there and burnish that down as well. Awesome. So now we have a little one with two little border, two little spines on there. Now this piece here we're going to flip upside down so we've got the flaps facing up to us and we're just going to grab our card and this whole piece here goes underneath everything. So underneath the two flaps, underneath the white bit, and it just slides in underneath there. And these little flaps are going to poke out and fold over the top of those bigger ones there. So right underneath everything, right underneath that white one and the two flaps. And we've got the two little flaps at the front here from that one there. So we're going to put a little bit of tape on these flaps here. So just pop some tape on there. Okay, so that's gonna that's the bit that's gonna slide up and down on there. So to cover this, we need to measure a cut another piece piece that measures three by four inches. Now just be a bit careful of where you're doing your card now, because I've just noted my, noticed mine's moving the wrong way. So I'm actually going to turn it up that way and open it the right way. <laughs> so just make sure your card is opening the right way. I, I did actually do that at least twice on my, my other cards as well. <laughs> All right, so cut a piece that measures three by four. I'll just see if I've got a spare piece. No, not quite. So three inches. By four. Now this piece here is going to go right over the top of those ones there, like that. So take the backing off these pieces here. Doesn't want to come off. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it doesn't matter where this is on your card, it can be up there or down there, it doesn't really matter. We're just popping this on, so we're just going to bring it right up to that spine there. And stick it to the other side there. Fantastic! Well done guys! So up and down, like that. So that's our slidey piece. Now we're going to cut another piece of pattern paper to cover this piece here. So that one's going to measure um, two and seven eighths, two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So two and seven eighths, so just one under your three. So find your three inch mark, come down one, one little mark, and that's your two and seven eighths. Turn it round, and then we're going to do find the four inch mark and then come down one little notch to the three and seven eighths. 
and that piece just gets stuck down to that front piece there. Oh, I lost my tape again. Oh, there it is. <laughs> my table is so messy at the moment. I keep losing everything. Okay, so that one's just going to go onto this black piece in the center there. So just on there. Awesome. Okay, so we're coming to the slightly fiddlier part of the um, card. We now need to make a little pocket window. So this is what we're going to be making now, this little pocket window here. So I'm just going to grab a piece of black cardstock and we want to cut that down. Uh, let me just see. Okay, so three and a quarter by four and a half. So a piece of black cardstock to measure three and a quarter. Flip it around so the long side's at the top, and I'm going to measure that to four and a half. Here we go. Okay, so this four and a half inch side now is going to go at the top of your trimmer, and we're going to score it at quarter of an inch so it's just a little a little flap there so a quarter of an inch and then we're going to go across to four and a quarter and do another score line so at the moment you've got a three and a quarter by four and a half piece and we've measured in a quarter of an inch and scored down and scored down another quarter of an inch on this side so now we're going to turn it around so our short side is at the top of the trimmer now and we're going to do another quarter of an inch score line. So now we have three sides scored. So we've got a score line along here, score line along here and at the bottom but nothing at the top. This is going to be the top of our pocket. So just fold on those score lines, give them a good burnish down. So fold there again and burnish it down. And that one as well. Okay, so just grab some scissors now and on this edge here where the two score lines cross over each other, I'm just going to cut a little triangle off the edge there. So I'm just cutting where those two score lines cross over. So all that does is that just helps us to fold it and it folds flat there. So just those two bottom corners there. Okay, so now what we need is our ruler and our pencil. Our scoring, uh, sorry, our uh, craft knife and a craft board to cut on. And we're going to measure in on all four sides. So fold those score lines backwards so that we're measuring from the score lines. Bring a pencil and a ruler. And we're just going to measure in quarter of an inch on all four sides. So quarter of an inch, make a mark so that we can do a pencil line down there. There we go. So all I'm doing is measuring in a quarter of an inch from the score line and then we're going to draw a line down there and I'm going to do the same on this side here. So I'm going to measure up quarter of an inch, draw a line, measure in quarter of an inch, draw a line, measure down quarter of an inch and draw a line. So we're, what we're actually doing is we're making a rectangle box in the middle. So I'm doing down the bottom now and I'm doing a quarter of an inch along the bottom. And draw my line. Along there. And then this side, I'm still going to do my quarter inch inside there as well. So quarter of an inch in there again. Match the two points up to make a line. And along the top here as well. So quarter of an inch in. And 
and just draw those two lines together. So now you should have a little rectangle box in the middle of that black piece there. Like that. So I'm just going to grab a um, cutting mat now and my craft knife and I'm just going to cut that piece out of the middle and that's going to make our little window here. So grab your craft board, your craft mat. Just get a bit stuck on there. And your craft knife. And then just use your just use your craft, uh, sorry, your steel ruler, and we're just going to cut down on those lines that we've made. So don't go all the way to the top. So we're just going to cut from where those two points meet at the top and bottom, and we're just going to cut that piece out there. So all of this piece in the middle gets cut out. Okay? So go right around all four sides with your cutter. You can use your um, scissors if you're not confident with a knife. Um, just because we don't need this piece, you can just have it cross in the middle and then you can just come in and go around with your scissors. So you can cut this out just with scissors if you're not confident with a knife. Like that. Just use my knife for that last one there. Awesome. So that piece there is now taken right out and we don't need that now. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a rubber now and I'm just going to rub out these little pencil marks there. So if you have a rubber handy, just go ahead and rub those out just so we can't see all that there. Wonderful, that looks good. Okay, so hopefully you've now got a little window cut there and then when we fold these flaps back, you won't see the flaps past that little window because they're just as small as the little window there. Right, so you've got a piece, um, a couple of sheets of acetate in your kit. So we actually need to cut two pieces of these down now. Sorry, one piece of these down. I don't know why there's two there. So we actually want this to be just a little bit smaller than the inside of that piece of window there. So if this is um, 3 by 4 hang on, let me just measure that for you. Okay, so if you can cut your... So I've got my short side at the top of my trimmer here. And if you cut that down to be 2 and 7 eighths, so it's just one mark under your 3. And cut down there, so it's just like a little sliver off there. And then turn it so the long side is at the top of your trimmer. And we want to cut that one down to 3 and 3 quarters. And cut that off. Okay, so that piece is going to go in the centre there. So you can put, so I'm trying to get the glare off there, you can put tape around there if you want or a little bit of glue. Now if you use glue, I would suggest that you pop it around the black piece here. Now you just want such a small amount on there because when you put the acetate on it, it could just smooch out all over the place. So I'm just putting very, very small amount of glue on there. And then I'm just going to pop my acetate on there. Now, if you are using glue, try not to smudge it around too much, or otherwise it's, it is going to go on your acetate, and it'll make it a bit murky looking. So if you can see, it's sort of spread out quite a lot under there, so you need just such a small amount. Okay, so that's our window put on there now. So what we're now going to do is we're going to place this onto here. So this piece here is now going to go onto the sliding mechanism in the middle here. So it's just going to sit right over the top like that. Now I suggest you use glue for this because we had a few people, I used um, 
some tape and it just wasn't sticking down. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to fold one back, put a bit of glue on that flap there, down the bottom as well, and along that side piece. Now this is all going to go right on top of this sliding mechanism at the back there. So just right over the top. Now I suggest if you're using glue just to hold it there for a few seconds just to make sure that it's going to stick down nice and strong. And I've got glue on my acetate which is not looking good. There you go, so just hold that down for a few seconds if you're using glue and we're just going to make sure that that is really stuck down there. Great. Now make sure that your pocket is at the top here, so that place that um, has not got any folds on it is at the top. There we go. That was the hardest part of the card done. So now we just get to do the decorating. So I just want to put a little tag inside of my one here. So what I've done is I've cut a little tag out completely on its own so it can come right out. And that one there is going to measure. Let's get my measurements again. Uh, three by three and three quarters. So grab a piece of black cardstock, cut it to three by three and three quarters. So three inches, flip it round to the long sides at the top now, and go to three and three quarters. So that's going to be the little tag that goes inside the pocket. So whatever leftover pattern paper you have now, you should just have enough to put a piece on there. So I've got this one left over and it is actually just about the right size. So I'm just going to measure that down a little bit. And then that piece is going to go on the front. So mine measures 2 and 7 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths. So 3, uh, sorry, 2 and 7 eighths, so one mark under the 3. That's where your two and seven eighths is. And then the other one is three and five eighths. So it's find your three and a half and it's one above the three and a half. Okay, so you, in your kit you'll have a little piece of ribbon. Now I'm going to use that as my pull tab at the top. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape just on the bottom here. Doesn't need to be a whole lot. And I'm just going to pop this end, this tail over that one there, just so it stays in place. So you end up with a little loop. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue on this side here, and this side here. And I'm just going to pop that right in the center of my black one there. And then this piece is going to go over the top. So I'm just going to pop some tape on the back of that one. Okay, so that one's just going to go right over the top of that one there. Awesome. So hopefully now that's going to fit in your little pocket. <laughs> Something's catching on the bottom there. There we go. What's, oh, there we go. It's not catching now. So hopefully that'll fit nicely into your little window there. Um, if it's not fitting, then just trim down the sides a little bit. Not a big problem to do that. Just so that it, catch, it pops in and out of there quite nicely. So on our tag now, we've got a little stamped image in your kit. This one here that says thank you. Now if you don't want to use the thank you, go ahead and use something that you prefer to use. I'm just going to cut around my thank you. And I'm going to pop that onto my tag in the center here. There we go. So just a little bit of tape on the bag, all glue. And I'm 
just going to pop that I'm going to bring it down a little bit because once it goes in my pocket we've got to get past that black there so I'm just going to bring mine down about that much in there and just pop it back in to make sure it's sitting nicely and you can see it yep that looks good all right, now in your kit also, you have this little piece here that I've cut out for you. Now, it says turn me over. Now, you only need to put that on if you're going to put something on the back here. If you're not bothering about putting anything on the back there, then you won't need to put that on. So I'm going to put mine on. So I'm just going to cut it so it's quite close to the words there. So, so it's quite close. There we go. Now on the edge, on the side here, I'm going to put a little fishtail in there, just like my thank you has got one. So I'm just going to eye it up and just do a little fishtail snip on there. I'm just going to cut that down to the T. So we just need that looking like that. Oops, not focusing. There we go. So this piece here is going to go on my tag, but it's going to go right down the bottom right hand corner there. So that when I pop it back into my card, that's going to be covered over by the flower on the bottom there. So we can't see it. So I'm just going to pop it right on the very, center, on the very bottom down there. Okay, so right down the bottom on the right hand side. But only put that on if you want to put something onto the back there. Don't worry if you don't want to put anything on there. Okay, so that little tag goes in the pocket now. Oh, it's catching on something there. Yeah. So that's our middle piece that moves up and down. So the last thing we need to do is put our little flower on there. So if you grab that back again, we're just going to cut out this flower. Now all I've done is I've cut out a few leaves and the, just the flower. I haven't worried about all these other little bits here. So if you want to go ahead and cut that out with me, or you may have already cut it out already. If you have, then um, just pop that, put a bit of glue or tape along that little bottom piece corner there and you can pop it onto there. So I'm just leaving a few little leaves on. Now when you do fussy cutting, just a little tip if you're fussy cutting, I cut, I move my paper when I'm fussy cutting, not my scissors. So I open it up quite high, bring them right up, right up into the mouth of my scissors, and then I just slowly close them. As, as I'm closing them, you can start to move your paper. So I'm moving my paper, not my scissors. So open them wide, bring it right up into the very back of that scissor there, and then you're just going to move your paper as you're closing your scissors. You're very welcome, Lorraine. Thank you for joining us. so this piece here is just going to go along the side there like that so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue up and down here just a little bit just to hold my flower on and pop it just like that here we go okay so that is actually the card for today so that is all finished so that slides right down to the bottom that lifts up you can slide it back to the top and that folds down that way. And you also have your little pocket there as well at the front. And then you've also got all of the inside there as well. Okay, so for next week, our card next week is going to be this one here. Now, if by now you've probably realised that I like to do different things on my cards. I like openings and closes and movement and things. So I'm very into that sort of thing. So this one's a bit similar. So this one does have a magnet on it. So it magnetizes on the left hand side here and then opens out this way, opens out that way and then we're going to pull it out of that little slot 
and then it opens out that way as well. So there's a lot of little openings there. So this piece here again is going to go back through the slot. This one is going to fold down. That one folds down and then that one magnetizes on there. And we're going to show you how to make that little charm out of a paper clip. So there you go. So that's next week's one. If you'd like to um, buy a kit, they're up on our website now, um, www.craftables.co.nz. And we would love for you to join us next week when we do this card to go through it together. And I thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, everybody. Bye.